A warm welcome to all of you in this online maths lesson for fifth class. Today we are going to do question number twenty-four to twenty-seven from worksheet one under mission shat pratishat. Let's start our lesson for today. Here is question number twenty-four. There is a far distant village. Its map is as follows. Simran was cycling in the village. Find the distance covered by Simran. Yes, kids. Here we have to find the distance covered by Simran while moving from one point to another. In part A, we have to find the distance from D to A passes through B. Here we will find distance from D to A while passing through point B. That means when he moves from D to B, he covers a distance of one thousand three hundred thirty-five meters. Then from B. He turns towards A and covers a distance of one thousand five hundred eighty meters to reach A. Now we will add both these distances. Then we will get total distance of two thousand nine hundred fifteen meters. So from D to A through B, he covers a distance of two thousand nine hundred meters. We will find the distance from A to D while passing through B and C. Firstly, he will go. From A to B, yes, this is a distance of one thousand five hundred eighty meters. Then he will move from B to C, and this distance is one thousand two hundred meters. And after that, he will move from C to D. This distance is one thousand three hundred fifteen meters. So total distance is the sum of all these three distances, and the sum is equal to four thousand ninety five. meters now it's question number 25 find the shapes which can be made with these nets in part a we can see there is green net in this first net all the parts are squares this is a paper net and we will fold the square parts and observe the shape we get finally yes this is a cube so the first net which we have seen that can be folded to get a cube it is a 3d shape yes here we get a cube now kids look at the net we are having in part b in this yellow net four rectangles and two squares are there in all the six parts we will fold them with this paper net and here we get a 3d shape on folding what do we get yes finally we get a cuboid here so this net can be folded into a 3d shape of a cuboid now in the third net a green triangle and a circle are there yes we will fold this net now Let's fold it carefully. Here again, a three D shape is ready, and that shape is a cone. So, this net of a triangle and a circle gives us a cone. In part D, we can see two circles and a rectangle in between them. Again, we are using a paper net here. Let's fold it carefully. This is a three D shape, and that is of a cylinder. Yes, cylinder is the folded shape which we get from this net. Out of the following irregular figures, count the number of squares to find the largest one. First of all, let's count the number of squares in figure A. Yes, figure A is an irregular one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There are twelve squares in Figure A. Now, kids, we will count the number of squares in Part B. Yes, in Figure B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve. 
Here again there are 12 squares in figure B. Now we will move on to figure C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. There are 9 squares in part C. In part D, now we will count the squares 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. It has 14 squares, so the largest figure is part D, which has maximum number of squares that is here is question number 27 for today's lesson. The following pie chart represents the favorite colors of 5th class students. Observe the pie chart carefully and answer the following questions. The first part is how many students of the class in fractions like green color. We can see kids 1 fourth fraction likes green color. Yes, 1 by 4. 1 fourth is the fraction for the children who like green color. Part B, which color is liked by most of the students of the class? Yes, we can see in this pie chart, maximum part of pie chart is red. So, most of the students like red color. Part C is, if there are 40 students in the class, how many students like green color? Fraction for green color is 1 fourth in this pie chart. So, one-fourth of total 40 students like this and one-fourth of 40 can be calculated by 1 by 4 multiplied by 40 that will be equal to 10. Yes, 10 is the answer here. 10 students like green color. Get ready for today's homework kids. You have to do question number 24 to 27 on your notebooks neatly. Take care of your health. Bye. Thanks.